guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about my schedule for my first semester of classes here at Yale. I've spent a lot of time over the past couple days digging through the Yale Blue Book, trying to find classes that seem interesting, while also trying to fulfill the requirements of my prospective major, which is electrical engineering and computer science. Uh, it's been insane. Let's get into it. So a lot of colleges kind of have a core curriculum that students must take during their first two years at college. But Yale gives students a lot more freedom. Yale has what is called a distributional requirement system. This means that there are three skill categories and three course areas that I must explore to get my degree. I must take two classes each in quantitative reasoning and writing, as well as meeting a proficiency in a foreign language to get my skills requirement out of the way. I also have to take two classes each in the areas of social sciences, humanities, and science. So that totals out to about 12 classes that Yale makes you take, and I must have 36 classes to graduate. So that totals out to me taking about four and a half credits per semester. So like I said, I'm looking at studying electrical engineering and computer science, and that is a major that has a lot of prerequisites. So I wanted to knock as many of those out per semester as possible. Okay, let's start with math. I will be taking Math 120, which is a semester long course covering the topics of multivariable and vector calculus. I did already take a similar course, well, pretty much the exact same course through George Mason University, but the credits don't exactly transfer correctly, so I'm just gonna end up taking it again. This isn't necessarily a bad thing because a little bit of review could make this first semester a little easier for me. For physics, I decided on Phys 180, which is a calculus-based introductory physics course, which covers all the topics from Newtonian mechanics to waves and sound. I'm hoping this class will be pretty similar to the AP Physics C class I took in high school, so I'm pretty excited. I have a decent amount of computer science experience from my high school classes and the web development that I've done on the side, but I didn't want to jump straight into the 200 level classes, so I decided on CS100, which is a really cool class that is taught jointly with Harvard. It will expose me to the languages of C, Python, JavaScript, and hopefully give me a little review in my HTML and CSS. With three heavy math, science, problem set classes, I wanted to mix something in that would make this semester a little bit easier and give me a little more variety. So I chose a writing class, specifically English 120, which is a course in reading and writing the modern essay. From what my professor has told me, this class centers around um, reading and analyzing popular and successful essays, and then taking certain devices and techniques used in those essays to apply to our own work. I'm also excited for this class because there's no final exam. Your grade is pretty much the average of the five different essays that you write throughout the semester. And finally, I have a one credit Air Force ROTC class, which is pretty straightforward. It's just an intro to the customs and operations of the Air Force as a whole. All right, that's it. I know a lot of you guys were curious about my course schedule for this first semester, so I'm glad I got to let you guys know what I'll be studying for the next couple months. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, drop a like and hit that big red subscribe button to support more content for me in the future. Please do, it helps a lot more than you think. If you want to talk to me, ask me any questions, do it down in the comments below. As always, I'll be back again soon with another video. See you soon.